Mopoid said that last night the disrespect of Chubby and the Midnight Groovers by the DFC should not be taken lightly. She said the World Creole Music Festival was built on the foundation that legends like Chubby, Gordon and others created through Cadence Music. But someone who is culturally dudish chose to humiliate our Cadence icon on the world stage. The helper said just how Poto Labyrinth Merlin from Senjo was humiliated for a government regular Creole festival ticket. Mopoid said that Midnight Groovers was going to do a final song of their excellent performance and DFC pulled the plug on them. Who at DFC gave the directive to embarrass Chubby, Ko and the others on stage. She said that the management of the Midnight Groovers should demand a public apology from Weave Denise, Soft Piper and Natalie. Because Grey Eyes Martha would never allow that gross disrespect to happen to our legends. The helper said Bus Driver Reynolds plays percussion for Midnight Groovers. But he will take precaution by not saying a word against his lab agrabberment for the humiliation they received. Reynold Kimo and Kake. The chef said that Tamonte Scarrett is a narcissist who likes center stage, even though he has to buy the attention. She said that now Tamonte Scarrett has to take center stage to address the OCCRP exposes, the recent decision of the EU, the missing $8 billion, etc. De Helper said that Tamonte Scarrett will stay backstage for these questions. Not how tight pants Ostel was frawn in center last weekend with his girly men. Do assistant chef said that Tamonte Scarrett will be on center stage for his final Independence Day address. And Dominicans should demand that De Capon is clear and clean on the burning issues that he continues to duck. She said that electoral reform, the illegal salary reclassification increase that he took for himself and his cabinet, the information he gathered on toddler lackeys typing at Jolly's Pharmacy, the failure of the Ministry of Tourism to prepare the tourist sites for the new season. The helper said that Weave Denise went to Coke and is busy preparing for her cradle-snatching wedding. The chef said that if Talmonte Scarrett fails to address these issues on November 3, 2023, De Zanfin San Papa should be booed off stage. Lunatic Roosevelt should get some Zipawi if he tries to walk through the crowd after the parade. His life should be made a living hell for putting Dominica in such a predicament. The helper said that Lil Willie Tony's life is a living hell because he has a pin dick, Carmen. Do assistant chef said that Talmonte Scarrett and the rest of the Phantom Mepwe Ezord clan don't know what to do with Auntie Seller. She was sent back from Guadeloupe because Mama Mewat Julie and Auntie Beryl are not well. She said so Andy Seller was at Tamonte Scarrett's dysfunctional mansion at Morn Daniel. Andy Seller t caught a pale, so to Starboy of stupidity sent her up to Veal Case. The helper said that she wonders if Pothead Hamid is taking care of Donkey from Rosau who he injured in traffic accident. The assistant chef said Andy Beryl cannot walk because she has a serious hip problem. Tamonte Scarrett's mother, Mama Mewat Julie is on dialysis and Uncle Jojo Caped. Tout Maledician, Phantom Mepwe Ezord Ka Ton Yo. The helper said that Sweet Donnie should stop being another man's wife and come back to Dominica to take care of his ailing mother, Andy Seller. Mopoid said she hopes that Tamonte Scarrett will not force the head of CREAD and Phantom Dewar Twet Francine to punish her employee, Engineer Jen, for speaking professionally about the collapsed VIP tent during the Creole Festival. The chef said that she wants to know why the bypass in Bowie was built and opened so fast. The assistant chef said that she wants to know which lab a grabberment minister and his bossy wife bought the building opposite Palace and forced the store owner to leave immediately. The helper said that he wants to know why yesterday Money Boney disrupted the Pentecostal church service in Castle Bruce.